remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Some political commentators have urged the electorate in a do state to use the power of their votes to dismantle forces of political tyranny and enthrone good governance in the state. The call was made in reaction to Governor Godwin Obaseki's recent resignation of his membership of the All Progressives Congress, APC, to contest the forthcoming Edo State governorship election on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Correspondent Tekena Milfuri has details. On Monday, June 1, 2020, embattled Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki visited President Muhammadu Buhari to garner support in his re-election bid. After a closed-door meeting with the president, Governor Baseki spoke to State House correspondents. Well, I came to see Mr. President to formally inform him of my desire and intention to seek re-election as governor of Edo State on the platform of APC. The presidential visit was apparently to get a soft landing to clinch the APC governorship ticket in Edo State, having fallen out with his S.Y. political benefactor Adam Soshomole. As things turned out, no one, not even the president, could stop Oshomole from taking his pound of flesh on his estranged political godson. Of the six aspirants screened in preparation for the June 22 APC governorship primary election, three, including Governor Baseki, were found ineligible to fly the party's flag in the September 19 Edo governorship election. Obaseki's disqualification was attributed to inconsistencies discovered in his educational certificates. Governor Godwin Nogegase Obaseki is disqualified again for reasons that were, state, that were well stated in both the appeal committee report and the additional information supplied by the appeal committee. Trounced by this development, Obaseki paid a second visit to the seat of power in Abuja. It was a futile attempt to seek redress from what was clearly an orchestrated plot to deny him the APC ticket to contest the forthcoming governorship election in Edo State. Governor Obaseki's alma mater, the University of Ibadan, had affirmed that his credentials were authentic, but his party, bent on getting him out of the way in the governorship race, went ahead to slam him with a suspension. Someone who hasn't gone to school, who doesn't have certificates himself, will not even know and understand what inconsistencies in certificates are. So that, that's the starting point. What is the inconsistency? It was just to look for an excuse to take whatever decision he wants to take. And it's really sad that the party structure today gives him that sort of authority without any checks. And that is dangerous for any system or any institution. It is an open secret that Obaseki's travails in the APC were directly linked to a protracted disagreement with Oshomole, the suspended national chairman of the APC, over control and distribution of political resources in a do state. Against the wish of Oshomole, who was instrumental to his election in 2016, Obaseki reportedly became his own man and went about dismantling political structures erected by his predecessor in office, an action which eventually cost him the APC ticket in the September 19 governorship election. Determined to avoid the Akinwumi Ambody treatment in Edo State, Governor Obaseki decided to seek refuge under the umbrella of the People's Democratic Party. After consultations with Governors Yensom Wiki and Udom Emmanuel, the Edo State Governor last week formally declared for the PDP. And I'm prepared to provide leadership that will not only put PDP in office in Edo State, but as the ruling party in Edo State, we will make sure that the level of progress, the level of growth, and the level of participation in the political system by our people is unrivaled in this country. It's going to be a plus to the PDP. He has been able to convince 18 chairmen and so many members of his cabinet has been moved down to this same PDP. 
So, and they also have two Senate members. So I think they can pull their force together. The most important thing is him materializing his dream and then letting the whole world know that what Adam Soshimile and his uh, Kangaroo you know, committee that screened him just to prove them wrong. Highly revered chairman at those state council of traditional rulers, the Omono Banedo, or by Eware II, who had earlier sought intervention of President Buhari at the commencement of the crisis between Oshomele and Obaseki, has called for a level playing field for all contestants. In a recent statement issued from his palace, the Benin monarch had also called for an end to the Godfather syndrome and imposition of candidates in Edo elections. Reacting to the current scenario in Edo states, political commentators have also called on the voting masses to express their disapproval of exclusionary politics by voting to allow democracy triumph in Edo states. It behoves on the day people, you know, based on the trust already gained, you know, to follow him to anywhere. For me, is hashtag Edo people follow um, Obaseke wherever he goes. The era of Godfatherism should come to an end. It is not about Obaseke today or about Oshomele, you know. Uh, 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 today, but it's about stopping what is stopping Nigeria's constitutional uh, democracy from, you know, uh, evolving to the expectations of Nigerians. For those who are particularly crossed with Oshomole over his role in denying Governor Baseki the APC ticket, his suspension as national chairman of the party should serve to remind him that political power and influence are not the exclusive preserve of any single individual. Alshomole is not a character to be saddled with that, you know, responsibility of a political party chairman at the national level. From when him, you know, uh, assumed duty or head swear as the national party, chairman of the party, you will see that the party has not actually fared very well. It has been from one controversy to another. Just to prove one particular point, that no man is God unto himself that God rules in the affairs of men. In the weeks and months ahead, the ongoing political drama will definitely witness more intriguing acts and scenes that will eventually climax on September 19, 2020, which is the scheduled date for the Edo governorship election. Admittedly, the intrigues and controversies surrounding the governorship race leave most spectators in sheer suspense. It, however, appears only time will tell who is the most formidable contestant in the Edo governorship race. Inside the Niger Delta, 